Hello, my name is Justin, and I love review movies. And the movie I'm going to review is Walkie 3. Yes, that's right. Like I said, I'm going to do the Walkie franchise, and I'm going to keep moving. Now, we all know Walkie 1 was like an A-plus movie. Walkie 2, an A movie. Not as good as the first one, but it's still a great film. Now, we're in the cheesy route. Now, Rocky 3. One of the best villains ever made is Mr. T. I always love Mr. T. He is awesome. He really blamed that flair. I mean, he always talked like, what are you doing, Rocky? You're a pretty fool. You know, it's, it's so funny. One of my favorite scenes, though, because um, you see in the beginning of the movie that um, he's about to retire. He's raining some matches. He's starting to get the fame he always wanted. He's getting the money, the, the, the house, the whole detail, right? Then he said, then he said, like, you know what? And he said, I'm going to retire. He has a statue in uh, Philadelphia. And he said, and, in, and sure enough, Mr. T, the larger than life character, came in and did this. And man, I love it. It's so irritating. He's like, what are you doing, Rocky? You know, man. What are you going to do? Are you going to retire? You're going to give me a shot. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and he said, mm, you look good, woman. Ain't no real man. Why'd you come here with a real man? <laughs> I'll be the fool, you know, stuff like that. It was just awesome. I mean, the movie tells you what kind of movie this is going to be when H Hogan came along and he was being over the top. So, but it doesn't change the fact it did have some strong, good moments. It really did. I mean, the movie gets no credit for that. I mean, when, when Mick died, that was a great, powerful scene. You feel that he felt like he lost a father. I mean, it was like a father to him. And you see him crying, crying to his tears. And one of the things I like about this movie, I thought it did real well, that even though he won, he lost the edge. I mean, he did. And you think he's all that, a bag of chips. And you see he's taking pictures while he was training. You see why he lost the first fight against Mr. T. And you see why he lost, too, because he's being cocky as hell. He thinks he's, yeah, like I said, he thinks he's all that, a bag of chips. And um, he's taking pictures, kissing the girls, stuff like that. And his wife getting angry. But even in that, he got his ass whooped, and he went down to the ground. But after that, Meg died, and that's when got kicked him in the head. And um, he felt that, oh, well, shit. I mean, those fights was, were not real. They were not real fires. And he feels like he's fake. And um, that's another thing. I thought that we were, was real done. And you see Apollo and Rocky, you see how they become friends in this film. You see the art complete with their, their friendship. And you see why Kree was more important in the movie. Because you see in this movie, they become friends Almost like brothers. I mean, let's put it this way. It became boy romance. When they did that good training montage they usually do in the Walking franchise, they were hugging each other in the ocean. Hell, I thought they were going to kiss. Well, getting close to that anyway. But in that, but while one of the most powerful scenes, I mean, this girl, actress, I can't say her name, unfortunately, because I forget her name, the one who plays Adrian, she is a strong, great actress. She always great a great performance. Every time she saw on the screen, she tells him, I mean, I, I love that scene, and he yells, she yells at him, like, what are you doing, so on and so forth? You need to do it. You need to fight, you know, gets him, get him back to it. I mean, she really came from a long way from the quiet, you know, shy woman to tall Rocky to his place to his place. He's not afraid no more. Great strong character development and a great character art to a shy girl to the person that I won't take no shit for nobody no more. And that makes her a great character. And she she's a really strong actress. But it's a great film still. It, it has some cheesy moments with the villain. Definitely Mr. T. God bless him. He's awesome. Um but I give this, you know what? I was going to give this a B plus. No, it, it gets an A. It's an A movie for me. I still love it. Great in the franchise. And the movie has the best soundtrack. You want to have a good soundtrack? This the movie has it. The Eye of the Tiger song. I mean, come on. I mean, that's definitely like the workout mo song you, you're going to work out with, right? If you're going to do some gym or do, do some push-ups, 
that's the song you want to work out with. But yeah, it's a B-plus movie. Definitely check it out. Rocky Three, still good. Still holds up. B-plus. If you like it, like this video, subscribe, ring that bell, and um, please share this video if you like this video. And share your comments in the comment section what you think of this film, all the Rocky franchise. And um, please, wash your hands, keep your self-distances, and God bless. And I'll see you in the next movie review.